going to be taking a look at uh, conditional statements so yeah, yeah. so far all, all the code we've been writing we've noticed that um, each line is executed before the next line so but in this case what if i don't want every single line to be executed i just want a particular condition to determine which line of code will be executed so this is where uh, conditional statements uh, coming. So a typical example that I often use is the case of uh, a, of student grades in most of our schools. So um, basically, you have a situation where uh, students are graded based on their scores. So like if someone scores seventy and above, the person has a uh, a grade A. So the person scores 60 to 69, the person has B as a grade. If the person scores 50 to 59, the person has C as a grade. So, and like that. So these are basic, uh, these are examples of conditions. Mm -hmm. So another point to take note of is that when, uh, when performing, when trying to do conditional statements, it actually goes hand in hand with uh, it goes hand in hand with some conditional some logical conditions in uh, in Java. So these logical conditions can be expressed as uh, there are about six yeah there are about six of them. So to actually get uh, our hands busy now, I will open a new class. I will name it conditionals. So having let me expand my screen. So I will name this condition out. So um, I would want to put my main method. Okay. So um, so basically, let's look at some of the logical conditions that we can have in Java. So we have the uh, we have the greater than we have greater than. We have less than. We have uh, equals to. We have uh, beta than or uh, equal to. We have less than or uh, equal to. They are also not equal. Not equal. To. Okay. So um. So we can use all of these logical conditions to perform different actions for making different decisions. So we use them for making, uh, for making decisions. So uh, when it comes to conditional statements as well, okay, conditional statements. Okay. So we have the following. We have the if statement. So we have the we have the else. We have uh, Else if, and then there is the switch statement which we will take a look at later. So the switch statement is actually an alternative to uh, the if. So looking at how the syntax goes, uh, so it's like this: we do something like if, okay, then open up the close bracket. So in this bracket, this is where we put our condition. Okay. So we learn how to put uh, down the conditions. Then we put in, so this if usually is inside a block of code. So we recognize a block of code by this curly braces. So everything in between this curly braces now is one block. So uh, line five here and line 13 here is one block. So everything here now from here is inside that uh, particular block. And the same way, this guy here is inside this block as well. So inside this block here, we are going to have the instruction to be executed. So basically, that's how uh, this guy works. So let's take a look at some uh, conditions that we could uh, test with. So let's look at this. If, 
the what condition that I have to get now? They say 20 is greater than 18. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then in this case, I would say system dot out of the line. Mm -hmm. Say 20 is greater than 18. So if I run this now. Oh, okay. It's showing me an error. Okay, this is one work I've been doing before. So let me comment it out so I can run that code. Okay. So let me go back to uh, where is this condition has been. So I can run this now. So yeah, so we have the result. So basically what we are doing here is we are using this condition, which is greater than, to check if that condition is, so if it's true, we want it to execute this statement. So basically that's how the format of uh, these guys work. So we can also uh, do this using, put them into a variable that we say x uh, in three, the data type, the variable name equals the value is 20, <coughs> then it's y equals 18. Okay, so in this case, here, I'm going to replace those guys with the variable names of the x greater than y. So if you run that, you see get the same, uh, you see get the same results. Okay, so that is the same Now let's Take a look at the other part, which is else. So in this case, we only had one condition. So what if I want another something else to be executed if this condition is not true? So this is uh, something else that we can do. Okay. So let's say we have. In this case, if we are going to combine if and then else, we can do something like this. This the syntax. If uh, then the condition we are testing, okay, then we set up the block. So then outside the uh, so here we have those to execute. So then outside here we can have the else. Then we set up another block for it. So that's basically how. So let's take a look at uh, an example. Okay, so let's create a variable. Let's call it uh, time equals, uh, let's say, it's okay. So then set up the if block. So if time Greater than eight, for example, it will come to pass after it will block. So we say that the guy is it. So we say yeah, something like uh, you are late. Okay. <laughs> so what if the person doesn't come at that time? Else, that doesn't come after it. So we can just do this. Uh, you are Basically, that's how the uh, else uh, statement works. So you take note of how I'm using the else. I only have two conditions here. So I have the first condition. If it's not true, then the last condition. So in that case, when you have just like two conditions to test, so you can actually uh, you can use the if and then the else. Now, what if we have multiple conditions? Okay, and this is where I will now use the great book example that we are trying to use. So let's say we have int score. Okay, let's say int score equals uh, 99. Okay, so in this case, I want to now check if. Uh, so if the person scored uh, 70, 
that if the score is greater than or equal to 70 above, you know, the score will be from 70 and then above. Okay, so uh, if score is greater than or equal to 70. So here, I would say uh, something else. Okay, let me create a great, uh, a great variable screen. Great, it was just to initialize this to uh, an empty string. Then, yeah? in this, it I would say great equals um, a. So another condition. Yeah? This is where I would do else if. Okay. Uh, if what? If score is greater than or equal to 60. In this case, I can say great uh, equals. Okay. Else if score. Greater than or equal to 50. So, the grade equals um, C. And then, else, if the score is greater than or equal to uh, 40, then the grade equals. So basically, these are multiple uh, conditions. So this is typically how they can be used. So, uh, so at this point, I can just output my grade. So we are setting the value of score to be 90 now. So if we run this code now, um, definitely grade has to return. Okay, something else I just thought of is uh, I think in subsequent that we can actually include that, but for now, let me run this and then see what I get. So you see that I get uh, I get an B. So I think I forgot to run this the other time. So but once I run it now, uh, since the value is eight, it says you are editing class. So but if I change this guy to something like 10 and then run it, <coughs> so you see it says that this is like so. so basically gives the idea behind conditionals. So with conditionals, we are not we are trying to force the system to actually run some aspects of code that we want. We don't want everything to run. So we so we set up these conditions and then so the system responds based on our so if I change this guy now to 20, go to 20, and then I run it. Okay, I think we didn't set up anything for that. So let me change this to E. So and then here, I'll just say grade report F. So and then run this. System. So basically, that's um, how the conditional uh, statements work. So, yeah, I'm going to stop here for now. And uh, if there are any other any questions, you can actually raise them. So.